Like, we're gonna have vintage goodness in here. Definitely gonna be some money. You know what? This unit, it's like, it's got everything in there. It's like Prego. It's got it all in there. So who knows what else we're gonna find in. But we found some Prego, so life is good. Look at that old cigar box. Oh, we might be finding our first charger box here. Oh, take a look. These boxes surprise me. I mean, some are full of salt, some are full of cash. So you just don't know where you're going to pull out of this unit. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Christmas has finally come. Everybody, how we doing today? It's Robert Zabo, the auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions. And guys, I bought this unit. It was an online auction. A lot of people didn't see it. It was a 10 by 25. That's did you hear that? 10 by 25, and it's loaded, packed, and stacked to the ceiling with banana boxes. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I don't know, but I came prepared. I came so prepared today. Guess what I brought? I brought a special guest star today. That's right, Claire Thris. Guest, you're a guest star, baby. Sweet, and not only is he a guest star, he brought the trailer, so he hasn't seen this unit yet. I got Super Shane on the camera. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, wait, you haven't subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that bell, get all your notifications. It's free, F R E E, free, zero cost to you. Check out all the videos, tons of shorts all the time. You never know where you're gonna see, you never know what you're gonna find, and you can buy the stuff. Second Sense. Uh -huh. Holy! Rob, did you go bananas? I went bananas, that's correct. And that's going to be a title of the video. I went bananas. <laughs> Banana boxes to the ceiling. Oh no, what a feeling! <laughs> Who knows what's going to be in here, but we know there's going to be some garbage and trash. And you see some in here. But I mean, right off the rip, look at this. That's not bad right there. You got some graham crackers, you hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. I figured there's lunch for everybody in here, so I'm buying lunch for you guys. Just put wash it down with some vinegar. We got vinegar. I don't know what's in here. Try food. I shouldn't open it inside of you. Oh. Fire starter. Dolls. I someone told me that the guy I think told me they were making wine and they were using these, I think they're oak. And they were adding it for wine flavor. Yeah, those are oak. That's what they were using it for, to add oak flavor to wine. So I don't know what's in here. I know there. well, there's stuff on here. Let's see. Cake horn, sheets, small clothes, fire roasted tomatoes, cherry sloppy joe crackers. So I got food over here mixed with stuff. This is just bananas. This is bananas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it keeps going and going. And guys, it keeps going, going. Going, going, and going, and going. The real question is how many boxes are in this unit? What do you think? I went bananas for sure. That's what we gotta figure out. At least he's already on the count. At least 10. There's a hundred boxes right there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna guess what, 500? I'm saying six. He's saying 600 boxes. I paid a uh, $450 plus the buyer frame, $490 for the unit. So that's less than a dollar a box. I know I'll make money, but I just don't know how much. Let's see what we find. All right, you can tell we're starting to make a dent. Over here is a lot of food, spices, things I can't use. I'm gonna give him to Jesse. He'll see if he can donate them to the food pantry. If not, he'll get dispose of them. But look at right here. This whole thing's just full of brand new Morton Sea Salt Rub, Black Cracker Cracked Herb, and uh, you know I'm feeling a little salty buying this unit now. But what are you gonna do about that? 2017 expiration date. I'm sure it's still good, but I can't use all this, and I'm not gonna sell it at the auction. But there's so many boxes here. Who knows? Like this just says Pioneer Women. What does Pioneer Women mean? This says Jonah Haviland. Is that uh, Jova Havilah in China? Havilah in China is good. Snack sets. Village. Coke. 
I mean, he can't even touch the stuff. It's so packed, so full. But we're going to find out. You guys, I want you to put in the comments how many boxes you think are in this unit. We're going to count them. I want to let I want to see if you guys are right. We'll let you know. Well, made a huge dent. I have no clue what this thing is back here. It looks like maybe it's a cooling table or something. I mean, there's a motor underneath it. It's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Just in scrap. I don't know. It's going to be worth some cash. But, uh. I gotta get it onto the truck. Let's go through, let's see what's in some of these boxes. We got paper towel. Brand new. You can always use paper towels. Ooh, some shoes. So what kind of shoes we got in here? Man, these things look almost brand new. Reeboks. Size, are they seven and a half? Man, the kids might be getting some cursing. Ooh, look at these boots. These boots were made for walking. Iron Age. So these are actually really nice right here. So this box here is definitely going to be worth a few bucks. Remember, I didn't spend tons of money on this unit. Oh, Nikes. The whole box looks like vintage Nike shoes. Those are pretty cool. Let's see what else we got in there. We got some Max, Nike Maxes, all different sizes, kids' shoes, women's shoes. So just the Nikes, I mean... Probably another $40, $50 box. Probably could be a $100, $200 box. You never know. One This pair of shoes could sell for $30. Bucks. So, got some vintage shoes. Oh. Golf shoes. This whole thing is loaded with golf shoes. Oh, these are pretty, pretty fancy. So, man. And then, oh. some kind of, oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. A little china. Oh, it's the magic egg. <gasps> Nothing. So this whole thing's just full of, I don't even know. I thought it was all china, but it's all different stuff in there. You got X glass. There's like some kind of little metal pot in here. I think it's a fondue pot. So the shooting has so much stuff. And there's who knows how many boxes in there. Oh! More salt rope. Salt rope. So we're going to get rid of some more stuff. We'll see what else we find. All right, we got more shoes here. Take a look. Look at these vintage Nikes right there. Those got to be worth some cash. Clear Thrift says they got to be worth some cash. Man, look at that. Orange, pink, red. Got the whole rainbow here. Like I said, there's tons of shoes in here. And some are in good shape. Some are more used shape. So but definitely going to make some money off the, off the shoes. Look we'll at more shoes, and then there's more vintage Nikes in here. And we know people love vintage Nikes. According to Guapo, Nikes are hotter than ever. All right, we got all the boxes off, and look at all this wine right here. So I might start Second Sense wine. You might be, it might be bottling it coming soon to you. A little Craftsman blower, worth a few bucks, and then take a look back here. We got an antique bow saw right here. I mean, it's been wrapped for, look at this newspaper they have it wrapped with. This is like from the 1950s or 60s. Look at the Dianette set in there. So it's been wrapped this blade up. And this is a nice, nice bow saw. It's not broken right there. And a hundred some year old piece. So found an antique. And look at all the boxes behind me. And I have no clue what's in all these boxes. I mean, this says needs listed. What, listed on eBay? Hopefully. This says New Balance. Shoes. Office. And, uh, I mean, there's just boxes, boxes, and boxes. Yeah, I went a little bananas buying this unit, but I know I'm going to make some money off the vintage shoes. Found a couple tools. Who knows what else we'll find. All right, this box says office. This doesn't look like an office box. So we definitely have some glass here. Ooh, that's a nice amber glass right there. Oh, it's a two-tone right there. You got the clear on the bottom, amber glass on top. This might be a whole set in here. We'll have to take a look. Oh, these are nice. It's got the smoke top on it, right around the top there. So that's a whole set of vintage glass. More vintage glass. Uh oh. Oh, nice little martini. It's all etched glass there. It's got a ship on there. So another box. And they all add up. Looks like all more glass. Coca Cola. Nice. Nice. That's really cool. 
Is this whole box is full of Coca-Cola glasses? That would be a good sign. That would be a good sign. Ooh, Coca-Cola. Oh my gosh. You might have every Coca-Cola glass ever made. There's another pair matching that one. So that's cool. That box is definitely worth some money. Everyone likes Coca-Cola glasses, right? Almost everyone. Almost everyone. More vintage glass in here. Glass. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh-oh. I just found your Christmas present, Claire Thurs. Christmas? Yeah. This is for you, buddy. I didn't know the Grinch got Christmas. I, want you, I know, but this is going to make your heart triple in size. Oh, yeah. That's a food dehydrator. We got a spring can in here. It has pots, pans, all kind of household stuff. Oh, wow. Look at this piece. Some kind of like painted vase base. Uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. You got the little Volkswagen in here. Check this out, Jesse. Dibs! What is it? Oh, that's cool. It is cool. Check out this. Ooh, it's a plane that, it's a ski plane. The Jada Toys. Oh man, look at this whole box. It's just loaded with a little bit of toys. And, oh, what's this? Nice. What's this? Oh, it's really heavy. Heavy's always good. Wow, that's an old, it's a Howard Miller clock. Clocks always sell well. I'll we'll grab that box right awesome. there. We got this little thing. What's on that box, Jesse? Dundee Falls Water Globe Company. They are one of my favorite water globe companies shopping. What's a water globe? Hey, Jesse, you want to give the bird to someone for Christmas? Sure, someone out there deserves Where's the to other dove? Bird. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this, Jesse. I think they re rewired it. It's an old, it looks like old lamp. It could be a redone one. modern. Let's see here. Got made in China. We got more cars down here. When you guys get to work, I'm gonna play with cars all day. Ooh. That's interesting. Nice little piece there. Casa Nicola. I know five some interesting stuff. Oh, here's the shade right here, shade. This makes this lamp a lot better. Look at that, Jesse. That's cool. So we got lead glass, style. Tiffany style lead glass lamp. I'm trying some good stuff. It's starting to add up. And like I said, there's only um 580,000 boxes in here, so two more, more glass. Oh, look at that. Blue cobalt glass right there. That's nice. We got a bread box in here. That's the Pyrex that everybody wants. Look at that. Nice Pyrex bowl set right there. And the thing right here, see the condition on there? That's what people want. It has these nice bright colors. Awesome. So we got vintage goodness in here. Definitely gonna be some money. You know what? This unit, it's like, it's got everything in there. It's like Prego. It's got it all in there. So who knows what else we're going to find in. But we found some Prego, so life is good. All right, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in there, like brand new Shout. There's like four bottles of Shout in here. I don't even know what this box is. This says Shout Dye Fragrance Free, another two brand new more boxes in here. I mean, yeah. Towels. Ooh, what's this? Oh, look at that old cigar box. Oh, we might be finding our first treasure box here. Oh, take a look at this. There we go. We got a little Wagner wear. And, you know, these, look at that patent date 1920. True antique right there, 100 years old. That's older than me. That is older than me. We got this little cigar box. We'll see what's in that in a minute. Let's get down. Ooh, what's this? Oh, batteries. And there's all kind of vintage goodness in here. You can see the dust in this box. Oh, look at this. 
1965 Ford register owner man owner manual that's pretty cool someone out there has got 1965 Ford dying to have one of these oh look at this See that cast iron little pan here and we got the big huge, oh, and it's a camp chef 14 inch so probably a 40 50 dollar bill and uh, it does have the uh, fire ring on there so I wonder what's in the cigar box. What do you think's in the cigar box? Um, All right, uh, Jesse. What do you think's in the cigar box? Vintage era wrap with some goodness. Ooh, you're wrong on that. I'm not even sure. It looks like some old, old advertising. Advertising for fertilizer here. Federal fertilizer. A little notebook. Man, these people like their fertilizer, you know. But who doesn't like? Oh, now that is pretty cool. It's an air pressure gauge, but it looks like it's brass. It is all brass. And I've seen tons of air pressure gauges, but a brass one. How many brass ones you seen, Jesse? Uh, none. Is that crazy? That yeah. is That's an old one there. We got a snuff advertising. More advertising, fertilizer. This is such an interesting little box. Firestone Farm Notebook. Farm Pocket. Man of More. Man, this is a good box right here. All kind of vintage advertising. Brass little piece. So who knows what else we're going to find. Definitely some cool stuff. And man, how many boxes we got to go through? But we'll keep going through. We got to load up some truck. We got to look at Jesse's trailer that's how much is loaded on there now and don't forget leave in the comments how many boxes you think are in this unit i mean there's so many boxes in here i mean what the heck is this look at that convection oven betty cracker had a price tag on it but it's gotta be worth a few bucks they said 12. all right in here we got a whole canister set we got plates Look at these plates. Nice. And then, look at this, all brand new. Brand new plates, brand new bowls. Looks like a whole set in there. I mean, it just keeps going on and on and on. And look at this, it's all wrapped up china. The cost of fine china. All right, it could be a whole set in here, you know. Are we going to unwrap it all now? We don't have enough time to unwrap it all. There's so many boxes to go through. I mean, if there's 500 boxes, it takes us a minute a box. Man, how long is it going to take us, guys? Look at this. We got some of that nice cut glass, little pedestal here. The thing is, everything's wrapped up nice, so... Just don't know what you're gonna have in here. Oh, that's the top for that piece. It's right up on top there. Then you got color glass in here. Nice little piece right there. Holy smoke, what is this? Oh! There's no bull about this unit. That's an old planter. You can use it for a change dish, whatever you want. What do you think, Jesse? This is some bull, that's what I think. He thinks it's bull! I'm right, it's bull, all right. So. You just don't know where you're going to find it, all these boxes ramped up. So much more to go through. I mean, look at this. this goes on and on and on right here. Some kind of glass. Everything's all wrapped up. I don't want to unwrap it all, but this looks like a whole jar set. Got yellow glass in here. We got like a blue-green pitcher, so that just goes on. This is all Falls Craft. Little bowls. Glass. Right here is some kind of, like a brand new box, something plate, probably some kind of collector thing. Ooh, what's this? Something's interesting here. What is that? <laughs> oh, look at a little piggy lamp. So, I said, here's the 
WJ George Mine China Bradford Exchange. Oh, look at that. So, all kind of stuff collectibles. It's like more Falls craft right here. What is this? Some kind of. Nice piece of glass. Like I said, this thing is just loaded. We got more Falls craft right there. Falls craft's a good name. Looks like a mouse got in there, but still, definitely worth the cash. Corningware. Mouse was a few boxes away from the food. <laughs> it's all kind of what's that right there? We got a little elephant. Kitty bank right there. So, all kind of glass and broken stuff, unfortunately. That's gonna happen. You're gonna break a couple eggs in the business. You're making omelets. Oh, we got some Christmas glass. Oh, Christmas glass. Oh, Christmas glass. What is this? Thank you. I really appreciate your bid on your payment. Ooh, eBay. So we have, might have eBay stuff in here mixed with that. the Soapbox Derby Shell Oil Company. 1951. Wow, who knows what we're gonna find here. You might find this, the Kentucky Derby glass. I know those are collectible. And then whatever, more glass, glass, glass. It's gonna add up. The best thing is shipping glass. We love it. Love it. Coca-Cola glasses. This feels yep, the whole box is just full of Coca-Cola glasses. Brand new plate sets in here. Lima. Who goes with the Lima? Churchill. So, man, this keeps piling up the money. And we'll see. We got only 500 more boxes to go. All right, and the bottom box here says Mix Jordans. We'll have to take a look at that box real quick. Square first on the camera. Uh oh, we got some square glass. No, no, it's like yellow, huh? Vaseline glass. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little coffee uh, holder, cup holder. This unit's is just packed full of surprises. Don't know what you're gonna find. Where's these Jordans at? Oh. Is that them? It looks like Jordan. Yeah. Those are pretty good for white shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, this part's a little yellow, but. Most time when you find them, they're covered black. Yeah, so. Is there any more Jordans in here? There's Pumas in here. Those See? red and white ones aren't Jordans? Uh, what's that shoe do you wear, Clippers? 12. 11. Dang. I thought those were good on you. You probably run twice as fast as normal. Those are like the, I don't even know. Maybe. Be like the flash in those. You would be like, whoo! <laughs> no one keep up with you. So there's just so many things. Like I said, boxes full of Nikes and blood pressure machines. And I don't know. This says blood pressure watch and blood pressure. You think there's watches in there? Or watch your blood pressure? Mm, probably watch your blood pressure. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Clear it I'm crazy like that. Speaking of which, look at this. This whole thing's just More full of Nikes. Nikes. Nike, Nike, Nike. Uh oh. Nope. No. Oh, there's the watch. It's a blood pressure heart watch. Ha! Ah, they got us, Jesse. Let you know if your ticker's weak, I guess. Yeah. I probably don't want to know. Ooh, look at that carnival glass. Hmm. So, everything just makes no rhyme, no reason. But we're going to keep loading. We'll see what else we find. You wish your foot was that big. Look at those Nike Zooms. Yep. Those guys are worth a few bucks. 
They're clean, man. I'm telling you, a lot of these shoes are in way better shape than I thought. <laughs> these aren't as clean, but they're still got to be sought after. You got all kind of color Nikes, all different sizes. We'll definitely have a, a Nike shoe auction. Here's the clear thrift truck so far. Holy boxes. Holy boxes. Take a look right here. Brand new heat lamps. We got one, two, three of them with bulbs. Brand new. Holy smoke. That is a huge... I've seen a lot of them, but that's the biggest one I've ever seen. That thing's heavy, man. Wow. Definitely the biggest one I've ever seen. That's a salt lamp. That is sweet. Supposed to take out all the bad stuff. That's what you need, clear through a salt lamp. Wow, I've got a trailer full of salt. That's true. Just put it on your lamp, you'll be all right. And all kind of more, more glass. Wow, wow, wow. This keeps going and going. Look at this one. We just look at this one here. We got brand new Clorox wipes. I don't know what these boxes are. Brand new stuff here. Perforated food service measured roll sheets. I'm sure those can be sellable to somebody. But right there, it's five Clorox wipes. These are little containers to go containers. Oh, they're boxes and boxes, and they just keep going and going and. More shoes, all New Balance shoes. So these people had shoes, food, and wine. Look at this, that's all the shoes. Those are some styling shoes right there. Huh? Shoes. And I think this whole thing here, there's shoes. Asic shoes. This whole thing all the way down. Mix the Adidas. I don't know. It says crystal down there. We'll have to see. We'll get these shoes out of our way. See what else we got in here. And guys, I mean, this keeps going, but I see a box in here. Let's see what's inside here. Ooh, yellow box. Ooh, it's a silver box. Some Moreau Silver Company, so. Definitely silver plated, but man, it's a nice little box. What else we got in here? Plates. All kind of plates, china. I'll find the silverware. Ooh, look at this beautiful piece. Wow, wow, wow. So, I mean, there's definitely money in here. There's just so much different stuff. And then we got salt again. This says eBay tape. This says McCoy. McCoy's a good brand. And stuff all over the place. Wow. Marked on the bottom. There's China. There's shoes. Top of a terrain right here. Here's the rest of it in there. So, we got a little bit of everything in this unit. And, uh, I mean, there's so many shoes. I'm kind of interested in what's in baseball for right now. Oh, some nice S glass. Oh, yeah. That's the one that said needs to be lifted. Christmas bowls. Put a Christmas plate right here. Got a little Christmas stuff and then all the glass rim door and stuff. Nice. Ortaki, Oxford. So I mean that's a good china here. So this blue bowl. Oh. That is nice. That's art glass right there. Something like that could sell for 50. This looks like an antique little bottle right there. Look at this old bottle. So we got antique bottles. I mean, this is just such a 
you don't know, you have to go through all these banana boxes of fun. Corningware. It's all corningware in here. Ooh, a little rooster. It says rooster too. Sponge, sponge stuff. Man, we have so many boxes. I wish I knew how many boxes we had, but man, there's a lot. This says Nikes. This looks like it's all shoes, shoes. There's Nikes, 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 New Balance. So, who knows? But we're gonna go through all these and... Is there another row behind that row? Mm-hmm. Oh my. So, I mean, these boxes, I mean, we're finally in the back here, but I seen this box that says bedroom dresser and chest. That says hangers. This says curving. Ives, which is good. Roaster chimes, cabinet, who knows? So I want to get to this box here though. Oh! So kitchen stuff. We got a bunch of glassware. Oh, there's so much glass in here. A lot of vintage glass, Pyrex, all kinds of stuff. Look at this, seven up glasses. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, put it right down there. It feels like the whole thing's just full of those. So is this really the bedroom? Or is this just other stuff? Let's find out. Got some cardstock in here. Woo! Uh-oh. You hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? A diamond ring. I hope so. Woo-hoo! Definitely sounds like money. Oh, yeah. It looks like we have the state quarter collection. And I believe we have the whole collection here. And I think all the other quarters are down here. So there's money right there. So we're finding money in the unit. There's all kind of office stuff in here. A full hodgepodge for this. Give it to my wife, and I'll tell her it's just like my love. It will never die. What do you think about that? Got the lighter? Amazing. Still works. Light some candles. I know it's also, ooh, what's this? A little pig, $3 pig, heavy pig. i never seen a, a breath mints for a dog like that before. Well, I'm hoping we'll find some more money in here. That's for a sewing machine pedal. Huh, some kind of tripod, interesting. Got some canisters in here. Olympics 1980 collector's mug. Just, just such randomness once again, as usual. No rag, no reasons. But my canisters. So, we gotta see this box is baseball room. Shane wants to know what's in the baseball room. I want to know what's in the baseball room. And, but we gotta get some more of these boxes. I don't know. Shane's the only thing he knows about is fine dining. And speaking of fine dining, right here, ladies and gentlemen, what better fine dining than Lobster bibs. Oh yeah. I got a whole, yeah, you guys know me. I mean, I'm a little messy. <laughs> My wife might say, hey, she might want me to bring these all home. So, give me some lobster and I'm ready to go, some butter. I got a whole case of lobster bibs. Life is good. This unit keeps paying and paying. Look at this crazy. Just randomly placed inside here with a food processor. Nice glass though. There's nice glass and then there's what's this? curves and knives. What the heck is that? It's a chicken lamp. I know the rest in there. Look at this. Nice little tool up lamp, Tiffany style. Who knows? Oh wow. Wow, look at this. This is the top of a lamp right there. So, another box. And these boxes surprise me. I mean, some are full of salt. Some are full of cash. So you just don't know where you're going to pull out of this unit. And, oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Christmas has finally come. Yes, that's right. I think we have all the Mary Kate and Ashley movies. Oh, I mean, I know you guys are all you guys are big fans out there. Shane grew up on this stuff, and... Uh, Actually, some of this might be worth money. Look at this. The large box of Jaws. 
And these old large boxes, these are called the large box. See how much bigger it is than a VHS tape? And I know the large boxes are actually people, Lady and the Tramp, Disney, can't go wrong there. More Disney, Winnie the Pooh. So interesting, interesting unit. You don't know what we're gonna find. I mean, obviously we're gonna find some salt, some dishes, and some shoes. But we're also finding some stuff worth some cash. So I know I'm gonna make my money. How much money? I don't have a clue, but probably not a lot, but maybe a lot. There's still only 328 more boxes to go, but who's counting? Down here. More glass. Ooh, there's more than just glass in here. Take a look down here. Found some more collectible cars. Wow, these are pretty cool. These are called wellies. Not too familiar with wellies, but looks like we got a whole bunch down here. So we got the welly cars. Also got some nice uh, ruby glass in here. So another box worth some cash money. And man, there's just so much to go through. We'll probably have to make another episode. We might have to make the episode at my building. We'll have to see. We'll try to film a few things here. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell. Who else is crazy enough and go bananas enough to buy a locker this full of banana boxes, probably five, 600 boxes. You guys don't forget, leave in the comments how many boxes you think there are. We'll let you know.